In this video, we will set up Yoast SEO plugin in WordPress website. This plugin will help us to rank in Google fast and also provide us more optimization result in search engine. This plugin also improves on page SEO score for blog post. So we will set up the Yoast plugin in our WordPress website. This is our dashboard of WordPress website. From here, we will go down into the plugin section and we will click on add new. And here we will type in Yoast SEO. So here is the Yoast plugin. So we will install now. Now we will activate this plugin. Go down and from here Yoast SEO. So we will click go to the journal section. From here we will go to the dashboard and click on first time configuration. So we will click on continue. So here you will type your site name and select between organization or person. So we will go with a uh, organization and here we will type in our website name and here we will uh, enter our website logo. From here you can add your Facebook and Twitter URLs and then press save and continue. Now you will check this button. No, don't track my data. And then you will go down and click save and continue. And from here you will go to the setting. And this is Yoast SEO site features section. This section shows us the basic Yoast SEO plugin settings. So these are the default settings. This setting is related to SEO analysis of your website and um, this setting show you the readability analysis so you will check this and enable these features and you will go down you will enable all these features like cornerstone content text link counter and you will go down so this is related to social media sharing so you will enable these features and you will go down once you install this plugin, the XML sitemap of your website is automatically generated by Yoast SEO plugin. So you don't need to install any other plugin. So you can also check your XML sitemap by clicking right and then open in a new link. And here, this is your sitemap of your website. As sitemaps tell search engine about the website structure, pages, posts and other important metrics. So we will further go down and after enabling all these features we will click save changes now our setting has been saved so from here we will go to the content types and from here uh, we will go to the home page so from here we will so at home page you can uh, edit title of your home page and blog page itself and the next we will go to the post and at the post section we will enable this feature by selecting this feature, our blog post will be indexed in search engine and will be included in XML sitemap. So at the page section, we will do the same settings as we did in post sections. So we will just enable this setting. Now we will go to the Elementor header and footer builder. Here we will disable this feature as we have already enabled our post and pages section. So from here you will go down and uh, you will select the categories and tags from here you will select categories so you will enable this feature if your blog or website having categories then you can uh, enable this feature moreover you can go down and also enable these settings and from here you will go to the tag section and at tag section you will enable tags as these tags help your SEO settings in search engine and on social media. Now we will go to the advanced settings and from here we will go to the author archives and we will disable all these settings and press save changes. And now we will go to the date archives and from here we will disable these settings and make it and make it save changes. Now we will go to the format archives and from here 
we will disable this feature now these are the basic setting and the basic setup for the yoast seo plugin in the next video we will see how we will uh, write a blog post with the help of yoast seo plugin and we will uh, see its other features such as on page seo seo score readability analysis and much more so stay connected